Have you ever had such rotten luck with a flat tyre in the desert? Or when you're in the outback and you had to change out that flat tyre? It certainly happened to me. I was stuck for three hours. Three hours. Trying to get the spare tyre from out of its well underneath the car on my uh, I was a D Max, and uh, this is because bad design on the car maker. And I, I have looked at other the makes, and they've got exactly the same thing where they have their tyre fitted underneath uh, the car. And where the problem lies is that you've got to use the jack handle, put it through a hole, then you line it up into the jack hole for lowering of the tyre, spare tyre, to the ground. Now, that's fine if you could just go straight into that little slot on the jack. But um, I have not seen one that does have... Uh, a line-up mechanism that is satisfactory that's going to be ideal or may be wrong but with my Ozuzu D-Max 2011-2012 um, I do have that problem and everybody else will have that problem too especially if your tyre is not standard Isuzu D-Max tyre that come out in the factory. I have a slightly larger tyre and this causes the wall of the tyre to push up a little bit further for some unknown reason and it pushes up a plastic flap that covers the, the jack and this causes a problem. The jack for lowering the tyre I'm talking about here. So as you can see in this video I've just made a quick one you can see I've made some alterations um, it's not a very pleasant sight when you've got a caravan on board I've got a photo of a caravan that had to be disconnected from the car but not all the time can you disconnect a, a caravan from a car or vehicle, tow vehicle so you get access to the tyre because it could cause yourself more problems than anything uh, as in the instance where I was, uh, I had to get off the bitumen road. I was on the bitumen road for a start, but I had to get off that because it's a busy road and big trucks and all that ha hammering along there. And I had to get it over the, the what they call it, the ditch there. And I still did not have enough room, even with the flat tyre, to get the tyre out of underneath the car. So I had to jack up the, the caravan. I could not take the caravan off the um, ball joint um, because that's how it is at the time and I certainly did um, save me a lot of effort well, I just put that underneath the ball on the tow bar and gently took the weight so at least I could get the tyre from out underneath the car now this is ridiculous I, I reckon it's, it's dangerous it's dangerous work and you're working and you've got to be very careful not to go underneath the car with, uh, when your vehicle's suspended by jacks, believe you me. It's a no-no to do such a thing because you might end up dead. Oh, oh, in serious problems, um, more than likely dead. So please watch this uh, video and see what I've done. It's a simple fix. I can't see why the manufacturer can't do that. I can't see why they do what they do. And I, I must thank the local uh, Isuzu mob who I said they fixed it, charged me for a new part, which they never changed out. And then when I did find, uh, in the car park at the uh, place where I had it uh, looked at um, before I went away on this trip, just on this trip here, um, first time out in the bush with the caravan behind us, I was D Max, and uh, we run into a pile of trouble. A lot of unnecessary trouble. And um, 
you know, in the, it was about 38 degrees that day, you know, which was all right, you know. You can get by as long as you've got plenty of water and all this, but yeah. A flat tyre shouldn't take you three hours to change out. Um, because the company is, uh, hasn't done the right thing by you, or vehicle make hasn't made, you know, you know I'm, I'm being a little bit over the top here, but, uh, but the company that I had it look at it, uh, the repair uh, mechanic, he said he fixed it and he walked away, he said no, I got it to fit. It took him three quarters of an hour to get it to fit when he was out in the car park. So how the, how the hell is it, how do you, what I mean, that's not, that's not fixed for, uh, for me. And, and and I went in there and I told them to take the money off there for the part. There wasn't any bloody part on, um, uh, been replaced out of it. And, uh, well, at least I got something out of it for nothing. But, uh crook, bloody big crook, don't know who they are, it's a local place where I live in Western Australia, they remember my face, because I certainly remember that former total dickhead, oh, cheers. How many times have we all been caught out like this, out in the middle of the sticks, and uh, can't get the spare tyre down? Well, I'm working on a solution to solve this problem. Isuzu cannot come up with the proper idea, so I'm coming up with a better idea for them. Maybe they'll take notice. This is going on YouTube, so let's go for it, baby. Right, so we put the, the cable in. You notice that I have got tape. Just hold on. I've got tape around this so it doesn't fall off. Then we come in. We're trying to locate, remind, we've probably got about six inches because the tyre's flat on that side. Okay, we're on the side of the road and there's no trench we can get over. So what we do is say, what do you do here? Well, if you've got one of those <coughs> uh, kangaroo jacks, you can lift up the car so you can get underneath it, but that's very dangerous. So I've come up with a solution to how we can make this work properly. And what we do is we put a bit of tubing in. Here's the tubing over here. And this is a, a tent post, which is exactly, would you believe, the right diameter. But there's a few things that we have to do. Well, we'll slide it over there. Slide it over there. Probably won't, oh yeah, it goes through there. So we can leave the uh, plastic on. Okay, and then we just run that through and I'll go underneath. We're just about there. There you are. Okay, just about lines up perfectly. Now, to hold that into position, you cut your pipe back there on the socket and then you make a bracket that you fit to this here and run a hole through there with a screw. And that way, it'll be nicely supported there. Now, there's another thing that's a problem with this. Let's see if we can line it up. You probably can pick up in the picture. The alignment of the jack is way off. So what we can do is widen out the holes and bring this around square. So we're going to take this bracket, widen out the holes, and then make it square. Okay, and make sure we'll take this back a little bit. That's it. There's our thing, there's, a, there's our jack, there's a little piece of fist in there and that will line up perfectly and you will never have another problem in your whole life. What I have been doing with my travelling is having a tyre in the back of the car, which is ridiculous because it takes up so much room. So <clears throat> it's when I'm towing with the caravan Boys, make sure you've got a kangaroo jack with you so you can sort of take the weight up a little bit so you can drop the tyre uh, because the tyre, would you believe, if you've got a flat tyre on one side, there'll be not enough room to lower the tyre down 
to the ground and drag it out underneath the car. This is the tyres that I'm using, which are good rich. And of course, they are wider than factory uh, tyres, and I think this is where the problem is. This is set up for um, factory tyres, and uh, there's just no way can you get in to use that jack. But even from this position here, you can probably see that it's way off set. Just totally ridiculous. That's just bad workmanship. Finishing off the most important thing when you're out in the desert. And you've got a flat tyre, you want to be able to fix it quickly, get out of the heat, and then get on your way. Whew. I remember three hours in the bush trying to get underneath the car. Just lucky I managed to have all these uh, things available that I could get un underneath uh, the car and all this. But um, to cut out a piece of rubber which seemed to fit in here and covered that nicely here. So I cut the piece of rubber out, well actually I unbolted it and threw it away. There's no need for it. A bit of plastic I think it was and there's no need for it. But I will extend this piece of uh, tubing here so uh, that it fits over the top of that and locates over the top of that like a little bit of a dust guard but but more more likely more for centralizing and all that so let's get on with it Okay, here I am, I'm going to show you how it works, how simple it works now. Um, I, I've left this uh, sticky tape or insulation tape around here. I've had it on there since the time that it happened because I kept on losing these as I put it into the hole here. And that caused a lot of grief for me. So, I... Um, Leave the sticky tape on there. The last one I don't worry about there because that hangs out out, out the back. But I kept on losing these behind the tyre because the tyre doesn't get the tyre still inside. You've got to still try and find out where the where this dropped down to. But now you've got the tube, you still got the same problem because if you can't get it, if if these come apart, okay, you've got to stuck down the tube, so you've got a bigger problem. Well, they allo uh, locating it might be uh, pretty easy to do. But I would leave this sticky tape on there because this will sit underneath the back seat all the way across there, no trouble at all. Leave it like that. Okay, let's go. This is how simple it is. Straight in and off we go. Better get the other camera going. You won't believe me because you won't be able to see it lowering. Gap. See the gap here. Just get the camera down here. There's not much room. We've got a flat tyre. Bit of rough ground, a few rocks on the ground, you're in trouble. You have to clear, make sure you clear all that area first before you, you drop your uh, spare tyre. And uh, 
Yeah, there's not much room at all. Once that tire's flat over there, or that tire's flat over there, hmm, you lose all that distance. So it's stuck underneath there. What I do is I put the jack, kangaroo jack, underneath here and lift it all up. But it's better if you can get the caravan off, but if you can't, and there's a risk that it can roll sideways, don't attempt to do that because you mightn't be able to reclaim your caravan unless you get a tow truck to move it over or some description there. So don't get caught out. Get the other camera going. I won't believe me because you won't be able to see it flurry. I want to show you something once I get down on the ground. So you see the gap? See the gap here. Just get the camera down here. There's not much room. We got a flat tire. A bit of rough ground, a few rocks on the ground. You're in trouble. You have to clear. Make sure you clear all that area first before you you drop your uh, spare tire. And. Uh, yeah, there's not much room at all. Once that tire's flat over there, or that tire's flat over there, hmm, you lose all that distance. So it's stuck underneath there. What I do is I put the jack, tenu jack underneath here, and lift it all up. But it's better if you can get the caravan off, but if you can't, and then there's a risk that it can roll sideways, don't attempt to do that because you mightn't be able to reclaim the caravan unless you get a tow truck to move it over or some description there. So don't get caught out. Okay, the opposite is for winding up. As you know. back on and there you have it I'll always check to make sure it's sitting right Everything's good. 